Just thinking about comfort food can take the chill off a brisk autumn day. There's nothing quite the smell, the taste, and the special feeling that comes along with it. And our next guest believes that entertainment is about creating good memories. I'm back with Roberta Lombardi, the creator of The Elegant Occasion. It's always wonderful to have you here oh, with I us, I love Roberta. being here. Thank you. All right, we are going into fall now. And do you switch gears when it comes to entertaining? Absolutely. I change the colors that I entertain with to reflect all of fall's colors. So that means all my table linens get changed out in my candles. And then I start thinking about those recipes that just like scream to be eaten by a fire on a chilly evening with a glass of wine. You know, I just love that. Some of your favorite recipes this time of the year are? Oh, beef bourguignon, mm. um, a beautiful veal asabuco, and of course, this recipe. Grandma's roasted chicken. This was the chicken that I grew up with as a young girl in upstate New York when I'd go to my grandmother's for Sunday dinner, and we'd always have a pasta course, but we'd always have this beautiful chicken. And I don't know if it was the meal itself, the food that we were eating, or if it was just that there were so many people, and I remember it just being so much fun. And that memory has stuck with me all these years. So of course, now that I'm a wife and mother, it's what I make for my family. So you, you can find this recipe at your home on a Sunday evening? I mean, if a I Sunday evening, Sunday a night? weeknight meal. Really? Um, when I'm entertaining guests at this <laughs> time of year, absolutely. So it's, it's very, very special. And you start out with an organic chicken. And the reason I do that is I know it adds a little bit more to your grocery budget, but not only the health benefits, mm -hmm. but the taste, especially with chicken. And I've not changed this recipe. It is as my grandmother's made it. So think about it. All those years ago, the chicken was organic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, do you buy pieces or do you buy a chicken and then you cut it up? I do both. This I bought in pieces, um, and the reason why I do pieces is that's the way she did it. So you can use the same method with a whole chicken, but because this is the way she served it, I tend to cook it in pieces and it's less And you want time. to do it exactly the way Grandma yes, did it. Yes, exactly. The big platter, exactly <laughs> the way it was served. And it's so easy, and you can prep it in the afternoon, and then all you have to do is pop it oh, in the oven, which is so, so nice. Good. Right, and those aromas. So I've taken a chicken, mm -hmm. and I've just put a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper on it. And I've put it in my roasting pan. Now I have about a pound of little baby Yukon Gold potatoes that I cut in half. I love the Yukon Golds because they're so creamy and buttery. But Can you use other potatoes? Any potatoes that you want to use is fine. And then we have eight shallots that I've cut in half. Now shallots are these... Uh, in the onion family, and they're like a purpley rose color. They're very sweet, unlike an onion. They're much more mild. And they impart a very subtle, sweet flavor to all your dishes. So I use these in everything. And how many uh, was that about? There a, was eight cups? that I cut oh, in half. Okay. And then I've got four large carrots that I just cut Chunky. up into pieces and chunks. Right. right. Now the reason I'm putting them in the bowl is because I want to season these unto themselves so I'm not giving the chicken too much oil because it's got the fat from the skin and I want to make sure all these vegetables are coated. So I'm just drizzling probably two tablespoons of olive oil over it. You're not really measuring. <laughs> no, I just eyeball. Generous salt with pepper. the salt. Some fresh cracked pepper. And your, your girls help you out in the kitchen when you do this? Yeah, they're just, you know, they're just getting to the age. Give it a little toss here. They're just getting to the age where I'm letting them start to do more in the kitchen. They can, you know, the older ones can use a little a knife, you know, if it's not too sharp. And, and now I let them season things. And they really, they get so into cooking now. So Plus, it's so cute. Plus, this is cute. Grandma's recipe. Grandma's you recipe, pass it on that's to them. right. Now, I also have two cloves of garlic in here. Okay. So all the vegetables are coated. And you just want to pour them into the pan. Now, don't use a pan that is too small. If you crowd your chicken and the chicken is not touching the bottom of the pan, it's going to steam versus getting that nice dark color that so you, you want. So you want to make sure it's spread out. Right, spread out so you can see that's plenty of room. Now the secret, the lemon. So we're going to take a lemon, half of the lemon, I'm going to squeeze directly Onto, onto the, everything, the chicken, the vegetables. It's going to tenderize the chicken, so and it's going to add lemon? flavor. I will use the whole lemon. So I'm juicing mm -hmm. half of the lemon, and now I'm taking the other half, and I'm just cutting it 
into chunks and I'm just going to toss it right into the pan. And the lemon is also going to caramelize. And you're going to see that the rind gets a golden color and it is going to get sweet mm. and it's just going to infuse this whole dish with this wonderful flavor. And the gold of this dish is the pan juices that you're going to get on the bottom of the pan that you're going to pour over the chicken later. So then I have a couple of, of uh, yeah, a couple of stalks of rosemary. Throw them right in the pan. Don't have to do anything else. Just lay them in the pan. Bake this for 45 minutes to an hour on 350 degrees, uncovered. Toss the vegetables halfway, the halfway point, about 20 minutes. And this is the beautiful dish. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? And you can see what I mean about the lemons. Mm -hmm. They've turned, like, they've caramelized, so they're golden brown. Everything looks golden brown. <laughs> and they're juicy and they're delicious and the sauce that is on the bottom of this dish because all I did was pour the pan juices right over Again, it Again, how long in total in the oven? An hour. An hour. 45 minutes to an hour. And the temp? 350. 350 and then move and then uh, about 20 minutes 20 in. minutes into it just toss, toss the, the vegetables. Uh, the veggies. Yeah. Wow. Wonderful. But this dish, uh, you know, I had a friend that didn't know what to serve her daughter's boyfriend when she was bringing home the one for dinner. She made grandma's chicken ring on the finger. Had another friend, same thing happened to, and then my niece, 26 years old, I made her a handwritten cookbook of all our family's recipes. She never used it. She's fallen in love. Guess what she made him? Grandma's chicken. I, I'm calling it matrimony chicken. Oh, this is <laughs> All right, well, you got to try this recipe if you're looking for somebody That's to, right. if you're, to marry. If you're waiting right? for that special that person special to pop person. the question, this might put them right over the edge. And just really quick, how's your cable show doing? Excellent. Wonderful. Got you a great Thanksgiving it. special coming up Very in good. November. We're on in over 30 towns now. So that's really exciting. That's it's congratulations. Well. Thank that's you. That's wonderful. Thank you. Again, if you want to know more about Roberta, you can check out TheElegantOccasion.com. And, of course, we will have the recipe for this fabulous grandma. What do you call it? Matrimony? I call it grandma's oh, chicken grandma's or matrimony chicken. Matrimony chicken. Matrimony hey, chicken. Well, <laughs> I might All right, rename well, it. this is it. This gets right to the heart of things. It does. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Roberta. Thank you. Coming up next, Connecticut native Darian Cunning rocks stage eight when Connecticut style <laughs> returns. You know what love is. It seems you shine no matter where you hide In spite of the mess that you might feel inside 